mic for everything. I have the honor to introduce our second speaker for tonight, which is Sunny Logan. Kenneth is a very international guy. Yeah, you can clap. Okay. <laughs> Tennis is a very international sport. Um, we have probably a lot of international students here. And Sunny is from uh, Mississippi, America. So one more a round of applause for that. <laughs> um, be before I start, I just want to congratulate all the student athletes for, who are graduating this May or summer for earning their degree. Um, I know all of you as athletes but let's be real, the most important thing is getting uh, the degree, and uh, it's, that's why it's student athletes, and um, not too many make it in, um, in athletics uh, a career. So that degree will create a lot of opportunities for you, and hopefully you follow your passion. You're gonna um, not chase the money, um, but your passion, because when you chase your passion, you're gonna enjoy working, and the money, money will come. <laughs> um, so, um, Sunny, everybody has a story how they come to America. Some you know, email coaches, some use an agency, spend a lot of money using an agency. Um, some have friends who, because um, us coaches always ask when we have a good player, hey, do you have a friend maybe who just plays like you? Um, Sunny actually wrote me an email and she applied with her um, high school record as coaches, we like high school, but we like to see more maybe UTRs or what they do outside of uh, high school matches. So I read that email and um, didn't reply right away. Um, two days later, I went to my office, and as my call knows, my door is always open, but uh, you, you're not always going to find me in my office. Uh, so uh, the, the, he laughs because he knows the story. It's not because I'm not committed to my job. But uh, my ADHD just can't uh, have me sit still for four hours, so I like to move around campus. <laughs> um, but that day I was in my office, and I got a phone call. And I was, who's that lucky person where I can actually answer? Because usually it's always uh, the answering machine coming. So I, I was proud. I said, like, let me answer this phone. I got on the phone, and there was this uh, sweet young voice, and uh, she introduced herself as uh, Sunny Logan. And I said, yes, I remember, you sent me an email. So while I talked to her, I, I, I go in my email, I check, like, what did she write again? Okay. Um, anyway, we had a great conversation, and uh, I invited her on campus. She was, was interested in nursing. So um, she came on campus. I said, uh, uh, you can do a tryout and, and, and give your campus school. So when I hang up the phone, coaches always like to see videos of players. So what I did was I uh, typed in YouTube a Sunny Logan 10. And uh, I couldn't see any um, uh, video. Usually I see all the videos where all you student athletes don't miss a shot. <laughs> you all shine on those videos. Um, but somehow I didn't find that. But I saw one video, and it was from uh, um, the Today Show. And I said, okay, let me click on it. So I clicked on it, and suddenly there was Sunny Logan, but uh, I didn't, the Sunny Logan was eight years old, and uh, Sunny Logan had no hair, and um, uh, Sunny Logan just had chemotherapy because she uh, was diagnosed with a rare cancer, and uh, as an eight year old, didn't know if she will uh, live the next day. So, um, I have a daughter seven years old, and uh, uh, to think about that, you know, your, your, your daughter maybe one day or the next day doesn't live is a, is a pretty tough uh, moment for, for any parents. And um, her name is Sunny. When I met her on campus and toured her, like she does now, she always has a smile on her face. And um, when, 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 when we toured her um, and we, we learned more about her story, talked to her mom, um, her mom also told, uh, said in the video that when you don't, don't know that you will live in the next day, Sunny decided that no matter what she does, if it's school, if it's tennis, she will always give a hundred percent. And that's something we student athletes can all learn from because even our college career has a, a timeline. Our life has a timeline, but our college career. 
So I will encourage all of you, even if you are opponents uh, in this tournament, especially seniors, this might be your last ride. Like, give everything you have, show good sportsmanship, and leave this college career with no regrets. And uh, besides that, be a good teammate. You know, as much as we want to win those trophies, um, I always tell my players it's like a birthday. It comes once a year. Um, you know, it feels good on that day. Everybody congratulates you. You bring that trophy to the office, and uh, everybody says, oh, it was your birthday. Oh, you won. Congratulations. But then it fades. Um, you don't get any satisfaction one week after you win something, you know? But the satisfaction comes by being a good teammate, being respectful, being uh, uh, just at your best at all time in the classroom and on the tennis court. And that, and now I'm done talking, my players know I like to talk. I thought my two minutes are probably up here uh, more than enough. Um, but what I just described is basically Sunny Logan. You know, she's a great teammate. She's an uh, amazing student. She, um, she decided, by the way, doing nursing because someone in the hospital took care of her so good, so she wanted to be that person who can help someone else. So no introduction necessary. Uh, come up here on stage and, and give everyone your biggest smile. So we are super proud of you. I 
college students. However, I also knew that I wanted to be a nurse to be able to give back and help save the lives that my nurses and mine. I looked at many beautiful schools. I talked to many amazing nurses. I met coaches. However, deep down inside of me, nothing truly felt right on all of these visits. Well, on my way back from school one day, my dad called me and said, Sonny, have you ever heard of the school called William Carey University in Hattiesburg? And I'll be honest, I had no idea. He went on to tell me how good of a record they had in tennis, how good of a school it was academically, and that they had a top-ranked nursing school. It sounded all a little too good to be true. So we got in contact with Mark and Hugo, drove down for a visit, and I knew from that day that that's exactly where I was supposed to be. So thank you, Mark and Hugo, for giving a young Mississippi girl like me a chance, and thank you all for everything you've told me. Mark, thank you for encouraging me and lifting me up in both school and tennis. And Hugo, thank you for the countless hours you spent with me trying to improve my game. I know I don't tell y'all enough, but truly really thank you. So I tell y'all my story for this. When times get hard, when practices get long, when the coaches are always down your throats, when the schoolwork never seems to end, or when you're in that third set clinch to win tennis match, never give up. Run down one more ball, go one more step, push yourself a little harder, and have courage and passion while you're doing it. I know many times get hard, and you get knocked down in life, but always get back up. Follow your dreams, chase your passion, do the unimaginable because you never know what the future has in store. So as I close tonight, I want to leave you all with two things. Do you take for granted what you've been blessed with? And do you truly make every opportunity count? And finally, always remember to smile and have a positive attitude to those around you because most of us in this room don't truly realize how blessed we are. So thank you again for this opportunity. Good luck to everybody this week. But as always, go Sabres.